Unit 31. Exercise 2. Listening. Look at your completed conversations for Exercise 1. Now listen to the dialogue and note three differences. Are you ready to order now? Yes. Um, I think I'll have a steak. And I'll have... What would you like to drink? Could we have a lager and a glass of red wine, please? Would you like a dessert? No, thank you. No desserts. Just tea. Here are your teas. Thank you. And can we have the bill, too, please? Yes, certainly. Unit 31. Exercise 3. Speech work. Look at the alternatives in your student's book, then listen and say which words you hear. 1. I like chicken. 2. I'll have steak. 3. I'm having a dessert. 4. She'd like coffee. 5. His fish is nice. 6. I'll have the fish. Now listen and repeat the sentences. 1. I like chicken. 2. I'll have steak. 3. I'm having a dessert. 4. She'd like coffee. 5. His fish is nice. 6. I'll have the fish. <laughs> Unit 32. Exercise 1. Listening. Listen and find out why Mrs. Gibson is so happy. Oh, no, I can't believe it. What is it? You remember I entered a car competition last November? No. Well, it was a quiz all about cars. Anyway, I've won. Look. What have you won? A new car. I don't believe you. Let's have a look. Y yes, you're right. You've won a Metro. It's fantastic. I can't believe it. <laughs> Unit 32. Exercise 3. Speech work. Listen and repeat these words. Notice the p huh sound. He's, his, have, has, had, here, hair, hurt, he's had a nice time, he's hurt his leg. Unit 33. Exercise 3. Speech work. Listen and underline the stressed syllables. Have you ever seen it? Have you ever read it? Have you ever been there? Have you ever tried it? Now listen and repeat the phrases. Have you ever seen it? Have you ever read it? Have you ever been there? Have you ever tried it? Unit 33, Exercise 5, 
Listening. Listen to a conversation between Adam and Laura and answer the questions. Use the list of famous places in York to help you. I've got a free afternoon. Well, that's nice. What are you going to do? I'm going to visit the Castle Museum. Oh, good idea. Have you ever been there? No, I haven't actually. So how do you know it's good? Well, people say it's good. I thought you'd seen all the famous places in York. Uh, so what have you seen? What about the Jorvik Center? Uh, no. Have you seen the museum gardens? No. Have you been to Howard's End? Uh, no. Well, what have you seen? Well, I've seen the cathedral, York Minster. That's not very much. One of these days, Adam, I'll take you sightseeing in York. Unit 34. Exercise 3. Listening. Listen to the advertisement. What is it for? Are there days when you get headaches? Headaches so bad you want to scream. Now, when a headache strikes... Take Solyudin. Solyudin stops headaches fast. Solyudin is today's fast but gentle remedy for headaches and stress. Don't let a headache spoil your day. Solyudin stops the headache in your day. Unit 34. Exercise 7. Speech work. Listen and check that you have underlined the main stress in the words in your books. Which syllable in each word is reduced? Temperature. Medicine. Different. Restaurant. Dictionary. Interesting. Unit 35. Exercise 5. Listening. Mrs. Gibson wants Adam to give her some advice about a holiday. Laura telephones Adam to arrange a time when he can come and talk to Mrs. Gibson. Listen and complete the information with a tick for yes and a cross for no. Hello? Double seven six three five one? Hi, Adam. Laura here. Oh, hi, Laura. Listen, could you come and talk to Mrs. Gibson about her holiday? Sure. What about this evening? No, I think Mrs. Gibson's got to visit her sister this evening. Well, I can't come tomorrow evening. My aunt's coming to stay and I've got to take her out to dinner. What about the day after tomorrow, Friday? Yes, Friday is fine. Let's say Friday at... Uh, half past seven? Fine. See you then. Bye. Bye. Fluency Units 31 to 35. Exercise 4. Listening. You are soon going to land in Hong Kong. Listen to the information about your arrival. Note the time of arrival in Hong Kong, the weather, the temperature, what you can see from the left-hand side of the plane as you come in to land. Hello, this is Captain Norton speaking. We have just begun our descent into Kai Tak Airport. We are due to land in 20 minutes, on schedule at 9.40. The weather in Hong Kong is warm and sunny, 
with a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius. If you look out of the left-hand side of the aircraft as we come into land, you'll get a wonderful view of Hong Kong Island. We hope you have enjoyed the flight. Have a good stay in Hong Kong. Preview Units 36 to 40 Listen and follow the conversation in your student's book. There's one for you. Oh, it's my ticket for the summer ball. Grand summer ball, Friday, June 21st, at the Assembly Rooms, York. Are you going with Adam? No, with David. You remember, the one who drove me home after my bicycle accident. Oh, yes. The professor. Hmm. Can I help you? I like this very much. But have you got it in size 12? I'm afraid not. We've only got size 10 and size 14. Mm. I think I'll leave it. I'm sorry, Adam, but I'm going with someone else. I arranged it weeks ago. Who are you going with? David Morgan, my professor. Oh, he's David now, is he? Okay. Well, that's fine by me. Just fine. Adam, wait a minute. Adam, I can explain. Do you think it's too tight? No, it's fine. It's a lovely dress. Uh, remember, don't slam the door. Just shut it gently. <laughs> I remember. up. Well, if you feel so angry, why don't you do something about it? Unit 36, Exercise 5, Listening. Look at your completed conversation from Exercise 4. Then listen and check your conversation. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a suit. All the suits are over there on the left. Thanks. Can I try this one on? Yes, sure. The changing rooms are over there. Thanks. Is it any good? No, not really. The skirt's too long. And anyway, the colour's wrong. Have you got it in a size 10 in black? No, I'm sorry we haven't. That's all we've got. OK, then I'll leave it. Unit 36. Exercise 6. Speech work. Which of these words has the oo sound and rhymes with suit? Boot. Foot. Fruit. Put. Juice. Do. Ruin. Guide. Noon. Unit 36. Exercise 10. Listening. Listen to part of a radio program, Your Mind and Body, and answer the questions in your student's book. For some people, shopping can become a disease. They can become addicted to shopping in the same way that people can become addicted to alcohol or dangerous drugs. They are called shopaholics. My name's Patty. 
I'm 24. I was a shopaholic. It started when I went shopping one morning and bought ten pairs of shoes. It was very exciting. Then I did it again and again. I couldn't stop buying shoes. I had hundreds of pairs of shoes. I always paid for the shoes with credit cards. I had nine credit cards altogether and I got terribly into debt. I didn't wear the shoes. I just hid them all over the house. Finally, Patty decided to get help from a doctor. When I understood that I had a problem, I went to the doctor and things got better. Now when I go shopping for shoes, I never go shopping alone. So if you think you have a problem... Unit 37. Exercise 3. Listening. Listen and say which conversation is about how to make a cake, which is about how to play a video cassette, which is about how to act a scene in a play, and which is about how to answer examination questions. Listen. 1. Now, remember, the most important thing about examinations is always read the questions carefully. Right. Now, let's look quickly at some possible exam questions. Two. Let me show you. Put the video in, gently. That's right. Now, press the button which says play. You need to press it firmly, like this. That's it. Now, if you want to stop it, you just... Three. Adrian, walk slowly towards Diana. Diana, turn and look into Adrian's eyes and ask, What is your pleasure? How do I say it? Say it quietly, almost in a whisper. What is your pleasure? Good. Four. Now, Emma, take the milk and pour it carefully into the bowl. I said carefully. Sorry, Daddy. No, oh, no, it's all over the floor. Oh. Come on, let's wipe it up immediately. Now look at your student's book. Listen again and tick the adverbs as you hear them. Which adverb is used most often, and which is not used at all? <music> Unit 38. Exercise 5. Listening. A young American is talking about some of the rules for people who work for the Disney Corporation in Disney World. Look at your student's book, listen, and tick the things which the employees can do, and put a cross against the things which they mustn't do. Tell me, Julie, about some of your dress rules. Uh, well... The rules about personal appearance and hygiene are very detailed and very strict. The Disney Corporation want all their employees to have an all-American clean look. So, for example, men mustn't have a beard or a mustache, and women mustn't wear heavy makeup. They can wear lipstick, but it must be light and very natural looking. What about perfume? Yes. That's okay, and aftershave, too, but it mustn't be too strong. They want you to smell fresh because you're meeting the public all the time. And no smoking, of course. That's obvious. Oh, and workers mustn't wear hats if they work in Disneyland. 
I don't know why, but you can wear Mickey Mouse ears or a doll. <laughs> Unit 39. Exercise 1. Listening. Look at the pictures in your student's book and listen to three short pieces of music. Choose a piece of music for each picture. 1. Exercise 7. Listening. Listen to this interview and follow the instructions in your student's book. Lisa, how exactly would you describe your job? I work for um, TVAM, which is a breakfast television station, and I'm the main daily newscaster. And every day I read seven bulletins, and we start at six o'clock in the morning. And I finish at 9 o'clock, but the whole program finishes at 9.25. So that's an early start for you. What is your typical day? What time do you get up, for instance? Well, it's a very early start for me. Um, I start, I get up at 3.30 in the morning, and a car comes to pick me up at about 4, and I get into the building at about 4.15, 4.20. I have to uh, read the papers. And then I have to spend about one hour having my makeup done and my hair done. And then we have a very, very quick rehearsal of about ten minutes at ten to six. Did you always want to be this? I mean, how did you get into it? I never, ever wanted to be a newsreader. Um, I started thinking about what I was going to do as a career when I was in my last year at university, which mm. was in London. Yes, and you read art, history and religion or something? That's right, yes. And then in my third year I decided I want to go, wanted to go into journalism, which was actually my favourite thing. Writing was my thing. And um, journalism was the, the course to take. Well, when was this? Not too long ago, just six years ago I started, and I went straight into local radio in the north of England. After about nine months, I decided I wanted to, to go into television. What sort of childhood did you have, and where were you born? Um, I was born in South Devon, which is where my mother is from, because she's English, and my father is from Bangladesh. What do you really like about the job? I like it because it is challenging. For a start, getting up is challenging. <laughs> it's not very nice, but it's a challenge. What do you think is a test of a good presenter? I think it's keeping calm when you're hearing about six, seven people shouting down your ear. Finale. Listen and follow the conversation in your student's book. 
What am I going to do? Why don't you go and talk to her? Hello, Sarah. Have you seen Laura? I think she's in the library. Okay, I'll go and find her. Hi, Laura. Adam, what are you doing here? I want to speak to you. How was the ball? Fine. And how is David? Adam, David's married. Married? When did you discover that? Oh, ages ago. Anyway, it's not important. So why did you go to the ball with him? He invited me to the ball because his wife was ill. Oh. Well, I did try to tell you when you phoned. Anyway, it's my leaving party next week. I hope you're going to come. Maybe. Okay, I'll come. And Laura, I'm sorry. It's okay. Finale. Exercise two. Listen and follow the conversation in your student's book. Goodbye. And thanks for everything. Oh, it was a pleasure. Mm. We enjoyed having you. I'll send you a postcard from Paris. Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a nice time in Paris. Finale. Exercise four. Listening. Listen and complete the conversation. I'm going to miss you, Laura. Can't you stay? Just a few more weeks. I can't, Adam. I've got to go to Paris, remember? Anyway, you've got your job. I think I'm going to leave the travel agents. What are you going to do? See the world. Travel abroad for a bit. Where to? I don't know. Eastern Europe, maybe Poland or Czechoslovakia. Or maybe California? Maybe. Please do. I'd really like that. Are you sure? Sure. The train's coming. Phone me when you get to Paris. Okay. Bye, Adam. Thanks for everything. Take care. Love you, Laura.